Hey what's up guys, so today in this video we shall be seeing how you can easily install Kali Linux operating system onto your Android device and the best part is that this process which I am going to show you will not require your phone to be rooted. So before we start you need some of the tools to install from the Play Store. The first one is the Termux terminal for Android. You can easily get this in Play Store and this will create a unix environment or a linux environment onto your android device and with this uh, and with the help of this tool you can uh, commands you can give linux commands uh, and a uh, linux operating system will be running that is a command line interface will be running on your device so first of all in install this one and after that we will be installing another app which is known as an linux well this application is nothing but it just uh, gives you a handful of commands which you will be needing to install the Kali Linux operating system. So we'll be basically using our Termux to uh, download our Kali Linux operating system from the repository and install all the necessary tools. But to remember all the commands it is quite difficult. So this AN Linux will be giving us all the commands which we require to download our Kali Linux operating system through the termux terminal and after that we will also be setting up an xrdp or xfce desktop environment that is through vnc through the vnc protocol we will be using the graphical user interface of kali linux so as you all know linux is a command line interface but when required we can use it uh, with graphics so we will be using the vnc viewer application which we also have to download it and with this application you can uh, connect to the vnc server which we will be creating on our kali linux through command line first and then through the vnc viewer we will be using the graphical user interface and we can use all the graphical tools which kali linux comes with so after all this we have to go to our home screen and then first of all fire up the an linux okay so before that make sure your device has ample amount of free space around 5 GB is recommended so fire up the AN Linux application and in this application you can see the dashboard once you swipe from the left side of your screen so click on the dashboard and here uh, everything is mentioned quite clearly in stepwise manner so first of all so first of all click on choose and select the distro which you want to install now all the distros available here are linux distros so you can start with ubuntu if you want to use debian you can use debian you can get kali you can get kali net hunter also and not only that you will also get parrot security os but in this tutorial we'll be using kali linux to install but in a different tutorial i will also show you how you can easily install kali net hunter and parrot security os so select kali and let me tell you that this tools or uh, installing kali linux or any other linux distributions through the termux for the android environment will just install the basic distribution that is you will not get any of the tools you will not get anything extra but just the basic operating system of kali linux now once you have selected the type of distribution you want to install as you can see there the step 2 has come and it says that we have to copy this whole command and paste it in the termux terminal so once you have copied the command you now have to start termux so click on launch and a termux terminal will open up here you just have to long press on the command prompt and click on paste and the whole command has been pasted so easily and then you just have to press enter and this will first upgrade all your packages in termux then it will see for any available updates and then it will start cloning all the kali linux operating system files from the github so this process will take a lot of time depending upon your internet speed but usually it takes around 30 to 45 minutes as it had happened in my case now once all the kali linux operating system files have been downloaded from github and it has been installed on your device through the termux terminal you will get a success message in the terminal now after that you just have to start your kali linux operating system by typing the command dot forward slash start 
dash kali dot sh so this is a basically shell command or a bash command so it will start the kali linux instance and as you can see here we have started our kali linux machine using root access so now once we are inside the kali linux operating system you have to go back to your an linux application from which we had installed it so once again you have to swipe right from your left screen and then you will find the option desktop environment so now we will be setting up our desktop environment to access the graphical user interface of the kali linux machine so from here first of all we have to again choose our distro that is kali then we have to choose the desktop environment which we'll be using xfc4 now after that we have to copy this code and this will install all the necessary files and the vnc server on our kali linux machine which we'll be using to access the graphical user interface now again this process will take around some half an hour time or maybe more than that if your network speed is really slow and after that you have to click on launch and again paste the code which you just had copied now make sure you are first of all logged inside your kali linux machine that is you are inside the root at localhost if you are pasting this code directly in your terminal terminal then this will not work once this code is pasted you have to press enter and this will take some some time to install all the vnc server files and all the necessary xfc desktop files now after everything is installed you should get a success message with the vnc server starting by default but if you do not get it don't worry if you get a success message just type this command vnc server dash start and this will start your vnc server from your kali linux machine now as you can see here our vnc server has been started and a new remote desktop is started at localhost colon 1 well localhost is our own uh, network card that is the network card on our particular android device on which we had installed kali linux now since this is a vnc server so you can also access this desktop environment from any other device also or maybe from your laptop also but for that you need a vnc viewer application or a software now once this message has come that the vnc server has started you just have to now go to the vnc viewer application which we had downloaded now over here click on new and here the ip address now if you are using the vnc server vnc viewer application to use the desktop environment on the same device then you have to type in here localhost in the place of ip address or you can also type 127.0.0.1 as the ip address and you can give a name so now you just have to click on connect and if you are on some another device uh, if you want to access this kali linux machine the desktop environment of this kali linux installed on your android device from a different android device or a different computer then uh, you have to find out the ip address of your device let me just show you how to get your ip address you can right swipe and click on new session and over here just type in the command if config and as you can see here on wlan 0 this is our wireless card and here we can see our ip address that is 192.168.31180 so if you want to access Uh, the kali linux from a different device then make sure to type in this ip address that is 31.180 inside your vnc viewer uh, ip address field now once it is done you have to click on connect and then okay okay so one more thing i just missed out you might have noticed here it is uh, here they are saying us that the local host uh, colon 1 so colon 1 is the port number so i just missed out to type in the port number 
after the IP address you have to type colon one that is one is the port number on which our Kylinux desktop environment is set up so now we can click on connect and it will ask for password now uh, if you are setting up the Kali Linux machine desktop environment for the first time then you will be asked to give a password so make sure you give a good password over there and you have to remember that one so I remember my password as of this one and I click on done and you can see my Kali Linux machine is started you can navigate around you get all the basic tools basically you do not have any penetration testing tools installed as of now from here you can start your terminal emulator and you can see this is root at localhost now if you want to install all the penetration testing tools then you have to type in the command and this will install all the basic penetration testing tools inside your Kali Linux machine and after that you can uh, you will be getting all the MSF consoles and Metasploit framework and everything else required for the basic penetration testing and also if you want some more extra tools then you can always git clone it from github you can uh, download any package and then install manually inside your machine so that was all for this video guys I hope this video helped you in understanding how you can install the Kali Linux virtual machine on your Android device you can easily install this using your Termux terminal by using some commands and the commands is already given in the AN Linux application so that is making it very much easy process so if you like this video make sure to hit the like button down below and also a good thing about this is that you do not need a rooted device so even if your device is unrooted uh, you do not have to root it to install the Kali Linux machine this will take up around uh, 3 GB or 4 GB of space in your internal storage and after that the amount of memory will be depending on the packages which you install the Metasploit framework package will take another 700 or 800 MB of storage so make sure you have ample amount of space inside your internal memory if you like this video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel before leaving because i regularly keep on bringing such interesting tech content for you share this video with all your friends and family and also make sure to follow me on instagram because over there i regularly keep on bringing interesting tech content and hacking posts and also some live hacking tutorials